Hi there world, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Tina from TinaHills.com and this video is a very simple video and as we exact the new moon uh, in the astrological sign of Leo, I want to discuss with you the tarot card. Uh, sometimes it is 11, sometimes it is 8. Okay, so um, strength which deals with the astrological sign of Leo. In the third deck, this card is called Lust. Let us try to examine what this card means. This woman is um, emblematic of our soul. And the lion is a symbol of our animalistic, instinctive self. Which is uh, the id, as Sigmund Freud called it. The id, the ego, the superego. This is the id and this is the ego. And uh, the ego, interestingly, the ego is is feminine here because the ego is trying to win over the more animalistic and instinctive sides of her. And can we, and this, this animal is a representation of the shadow. Okay, everything we try to repress, everything we try to hide, everything we try to block away comes back at us. Okay, and with a lion heart, we have to uh, not only face those shadows, but we have to integrate it. And the feminine touch means she's not integrating this with force or strife or domination, but she's doing it in a very peaceful and loving manner. If you look at the imagery, the woman is dealing with this animal. She has a mouth, uh, has, has a hands in his mouth, hand. The other hand is sort of petting him. The lion's got an intoxicated vibe to him. It's like as if he's lost in this. Uh, when, when you encounter your higher self, somewhere you get lost in the ecstasy that is samadhi. So the animalistic intuitive self is uh, sort of surrendering to the cajoling, to the caressing feminine power of the ego that wants to conquer all these um, id impulses and grow and spiral upwards. Okay, so this is the meaning of the strength card. And uh, the third tarot calls it lust because ultimately this line is a symbol of lust that we must conquer. And this is major arcana. As I said, this is eight in some decks and 11 in some. So, uh, Rider and Wade keeps it at 8. So, that's where we study after this comes this, uh, the card, uh, the Hermit, which is the card of Virgo. The element of this card is fire. And um, interestingly, this, um, what I want to say is that working with the line here is uh, working with our shadows and integrating them, not hiding them away, not fighting them, uh, and not not trying to conquer them in the masculine way now if you if you're experiencing an illness this is a very very positive card because now ultimately you will be able to conquer all those uh, maybe base impulses that fed your dis-ease good okay, diseases originate in a spiritual realm and then they uh, transmigrate to our realm so the strength card also tells us that it is time for vitality, inner vitality, being linked to the astrological sign of Leo. This card is directly connected to the sun. So a healthy sense of I am, our leadership skills, our integral uh, magnetism okay, is the sun. So we are ready to shine when this card shows up in a reading. It is a time to find that power within if you haven't and to suppress these beasts, no matter whether they are external or they're internal. This is, uh, maybe suppression is not a correct word because it has been used in very many pejorative uh, circumstances, but to really integrate the demons that bother you, the demons that torment you, and to do them lovingly. You know, as the Buddhists say, that you have to know and love your demons to truly integrate them. Okay, so this was the strength card. 
and this is a new moon in Leo so I wanted to discuss this and bring this wisdom to you it's one of my favorite cards my favorite cards of the tarot because I have uh, done some stuff going on in Leo which is my 12th house so lessons learned uh, shadows integrated we have the strength and the glory to truly shine like the sun and to embody all those beautiful and magnificent characteristics of the leader we are meant to become so i hope you like that video meditate on this card tonight and believe me you will have the strength find the strength to do what is needed with your life. I spend a lot of time contemplating, meditating on this card and journaling before I make this video. And it just excites me to tell you that uh, once you meditate with the tarot, the images start to speak to you. They, they come alive and, and they, uh, no matter which culture, what race or what religion you belong to, these are archetypal images. They exist in the psyche of humanity, death, strength, fortitude, temperance, all of this, okay? Uh, understand, explore the tarot, drop me a, a DM if you want to learn the tarot with me. Or if you want a reading, hop over to my website, uh, www.dinahills.com. Check out my products and my merchandise. Thank you.